Hey guys, Trey here, and today I'm back to show you how to create a Minecraft server completely free in 2020 um, using Eternos. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to https colon slash slash eternos.org, um, and that's going to take you to this page. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to sign up, and it's going to take you to another page, and I'm going to go ahead and go there now. All you're going to have to do is enter your uh, an email, a username, and a password, I believe, and then you're done. And I'm going to jump to pass that step to the next stage, and I'll show you guys then. All right, guys, so here we are now. This is the servers page you will be taken to as soon as you're done signing up. Um, basically, what you do now is you can... I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. This is one I was messing around with earlier. Oops. All right, it is deleted. So you're going to be at this screen, uh, and you're going to click Create a Server. Um, this lets you choose between Bedrock Edition or Java Edition. Since I have Java Edition, I'm going to pick Java Edition. This is going to be your link, and you can customize it to a degree. Uh, you just click Create. That's all you got to do. All right, so this is your server tab. So all you do here is you click Change, and you can either pick Vanilla, um, Bucket, Forge, uh, Snapshot, uh, you've got a bunch of options, but basically what you want to do is you can pick whatever you want to. Um, for this purpose, I'm going to choose vanilla because vanilla server, you can choose between all of these different things. It goes all the way back to 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, 1 1.8.9 is my favorite, so we're going to go here. Um, yes. All right. Uh, they're going to, if you have an ad blocker on, they're going to repeatedly ask you to turn it off, so probably do that before you get there. All right, so now you go to server. Now that you've got all that downloaded, all you're gonna do is click start server. You have to accept the EULA, and it's gonna start preparing the server and loading it. And this is gonna take a different amount of time based on uh, what you decide to use, whether it's a bunch of bucket plugins, whether it's a bunch of forge mods, whether it's a bunch of um, random uh, spigot plugins, it, it just depends, but basically, uh, if you start a vanilla server, it's not going to take very long. But anyways, I will be right back whenever the server's up, and I'll show you guys then. Alright guys, as you can see, the server is now online. Uh, you will have a timer down here. That's how long you have in, uh, for somebody to connect, or else the server's going to go down again. So, just to prove that it works and everything, I will go ahead and pull up a um, Minecraft thing and I will be back in Minecraft I'll show myself connecting to it through this link and I will see you guys then alright guys so here you can see we are at the new server Nikki at night .eternos .me, which is the same thing if you want to rewind and see back on the other tab that was the name of our server we're just gonna click join and here we are uh, so this is this has been a way to create a Minecraft server in 2020 completely free. You can use Forge, you can use Bucket, you can use Spigot, or any number of other things. You can get on snapshots to test um, new builds of Minecraft with your friends, and it can go up to 20 players. So uh, this is going to fit most of your uh, basic uses and go even farther beyond that. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and hope to see you guys in the next video.